Hello everybody. I'm just gonna get ready and maybe you get ready with me. So I got my little Mary Kay headband on and we're gonna see what we could do with this face. So first of all, I got this uh, primer from Maybelline and it's like uh, just the smooth outlines and you know stuff like that. Just a little primer for the skin. I do have, um, you know, some red spots here and there, so. I got my mirror over here, so if I look over to the side, that's what it is. And I usually just do it around my T, right here. That seems to be the, the place that I have issues, is right across here. So, put a little bit of this under my eye. And this is uh, Stay. And I believe it's, it could be Maybelline. I've had it for a while, so, and let's kind of smooth that out a little bit. Then I have, this is um, probably upside down, no, Mary Kay, it's a little eye primer. Don't look at my nails, my nails, I haven't done my nails, so. That's another another project. I'll be doing my nails. <laughs> so I just take this and rub it on my eye. Now I'm still trying to get used to videos and you know where I'm supposed to look. <laughs> Now, I've got this uh, b, b cream. It's Revlon. Uh, I usually get Maybelline, but Maybelline was out of the color that I usually use. And I like b bs because they're light. Um, you know, I'm not a uh, face makeup person per se. You know, I never really used face makeup until I got older and I just felt like I just didn't need it my uh, so even at a young age I you know I had bought it and tried it never liked it so I never really did uh foundation I should say make sure you go down your neck because um, oh got some in my eye uh, a lot of times that's where women miss is that line and even though you don't see it you need to make sure that uh, you got it all covered Blend, a blend, a blend. Now I'm going to use this here. It's a blush I had bought a long time ago. Uh, I can't even see, you know, who it's from. Uh, this was a nice one for summer. Because it gives you that kind of a tan glow or, you know, sun like you're glowed from the sun is glowing on you. <laughs> and from the words of Tara Banks, you can never have enough blush. <laughs> 
That was her philosophy. And I think it's true. You just got to blend. I also got this. It's a highlighter. Whoop. And Milan. The brand Milan. So, get my little feather brush. Oh, got that in my eye. So, my eyes water. Anyway. So, I'm going to put this right there on that shiny spot. And right there on the shiny spot. Or where the sun is hitting, I should say. And right there. And you can see the light where it hits. Under your nose. Now, take my blender brush. Let's blend this all up. And I don't think there's really a wrong or right way to do it. I mean, people know their, women know their own face. And, but I think a key thing is what I've learned is blend. You can't blend enough. Okay. Let's move it right along. I got this Mary Kay. Um, this is the eyeshadow. I love this eyeshadow. It's a white, but it's really uh, uh, dominant. Let me get my little brush. And got my little brushes in here. And just a regular little brush. And I got this little piece of felt. And that's what I kind of wipe my brushes off every time I use them. Now, I'm going to take my mirror and kind of see if I can do this while I'm looking at you guys. But I'm going to go right there. See how dominant that is? I love it. It really picks that up. Now let me do the other side. And I'm going to um, go in here. And do a little bit. There, and I got those on, that on. I'll blend that a little more when I get... I got these nudes. They're by Maybelline. Uh, can you see it here? Oh! <laughs> They're just uh, browns, and uh, I like them because they have like a neutral browns, you know, like these right here, this one, uh, kind of this one's a little shiny over here, but they're just little uh, brown nudes, and to quote Tyra Banks again, so over the years, this area right in here, is has changed color based on you know allergies age and like Taryn Taryn says Tyron says she says you know she follows that and that's what she colors and I thought that's a good suggestion because you already got the guideline you know 
there on your face. So to me, you're just, let me get this other eye. And you're just uh, kind of blending in that area that, you know, is naturally there for you. So this is a little Mary Kay brush. It's great for in here in the creases. So let's blend this up around. And since I'm just going to be at home, I think I'll just take a little, um, little brown right here and just kind of put it in my area there. You know, by no means am I a professional, uh, but if, you know, most of us have been putting on makeup pretty much all our life. I mean, we might have stopped at one time because we just didn't, you know, feel like we needed to, um, especially like, you know, when you quit working, uh, you think, well, you know, why am I putting makeup on? You know, I'm not going nowhere, but let me blend all this in. You know, it's nice to I don't know when I put on makeup even though I'm just gonna be at home it makes me feel good so when I go by the mirror and I see myself I say, oh looking pretty good there mama you know and I think it just lifts your spirit instead of you know a lot of us might be retired or you know we lost our job because of the pandemic and and we're at home now and so you get kind of like, um, you know, that routine that we had, getting up, getting ready for work, putting your makeup on, doing your hair. You know, all that is out the window because now you're not doing none of that. And uh, But I don't think it should stop you from putting on a little face, you know. And like my sister, she's coming out. My two sisters are coming out to visit it next month. And she was like, oh, I got to get some mascara because, you know, my mascara is all dried up. Because she hasn't been putting on makeup, you know, since the pandemic. She hasn't gone anywhere. So I got this little eyebrow pencil. It's an off-brand. Uh, we got it here at the swap meet. Oop, upside down. So it's a little... <laughs> uh, maybe you see it but uh, let me put this now that's another thing I never really did my eyebrows so I'm not really I guess I just never had to do them you know my eyebrows were always uh you know, they weren't real thick. Well, they were thick when I was younger. But as I got older, you know, they thinned out and they're more gray. So they look, um, they look like I have none. But, well, they look, they seem lighter. So. Get this other eye. Now, I did go with a lighter brown this time. I thought I'd try it because um, I 
I think sometimes that's what uh, we tend to do is uh, make our eyebrows a little too um, too dark. And, you know, uh, when you make them too dark, my eyes are watering now, um, it gives you like a hard look on your face. And, you know, the young girls, now they're making their eyebrows dark. They're young. They can do that. But as far as for us, you know, I don't think we should be doing that. Oh. I had a little gel here. What did I do with it? Let me see. Excuse me a minute. So, I got this little gel too. Uh, and it's from Maybelline. And I like this because if you can see the brushes, they're long on one side and short on the other. So, you can kind of, uh, I love the gel more than I do a pencil. Because you can put a little of this on and it colors your eye eyebrows. And I tend to have, I call them old men eyebrows. So, <laughs> I got this other side. And I don't know if it's because the way I sleep <laughs> or what, but they, this one here just sticks up right there in the middle. Sometimes I got to pluck them to get them out of there, but now they're kind of laying down okay. So now let's get a little mascara on. Whew. And I just bought this one and... I don't know if you can see that, but it was uh, just from our swap meet over here. So the swap meet here is kind of like in a pinch. Uh, they have a makeup counter and the makeup's pretty cheap. It was $2.99 for the mascara. So, you know, if you're on a budget or something, I mean, mascara to me is mascara. It just depends on how you use it. Um, now this is a very big brush as you see <laughs> and I'm not used to a big brush but I'm going to give it a go here and I had people you know they go oh your eyelashes they're so long but if you look at my eyelashes um, they're not, but I think mascara is the building tool. So mascara builds your eyelashes up and the more you apply it, the more it, uh, it, uh, extend them, you know, your eyelashes are there are there. A lot of times they're just light in color and they're not, you know, unless you have really dark hair, your eyelashes aren't going to be that dark. So they kind of look, you know, see, look, it looks like I have no eyelashes there. But as I put it on, you can see it, it builds it up. I got to get the other eye. Woo! Blacking you out! <laughs> so... I'll get this other eye. And once again, I don't think there's a rule of how you put mascara on. Everybody puts it on differently. Uh, and, you know, if you wore this stuff when you were younger, you know, uh, I don't see why you couldn't continue wearing it now and, you know, 
put it on the same way you put it on for years. Everybody brushes it different. And let's do my little bottom lashes a little bit. I do have long eyelashes on the bottom. That's for sure. Let's see. Not bad at all. And to get them really big, you kind of let them dry a little bit and add some more. And, you know, as you build it up, that's when your eyelashes stand out. Now, I need some lips. So, let me see which one I want to put on. Ah, where's my lips? I gotta have my lips. I always wore pretty much lipstick. Well, that's a lie. Oh. Uh, this is my favorite lipstick. Now, oh, let's see. Let me get it around here. This is, um, I think, Revlon. Could be Maybelline. But the color is a color that uh, I think matches my lip tone. Now, It's, a, it's in a brown family. Now, when I uh, was younger, I didn't wear lipstick because I had, you know, crooked tooth. And so I never wanted to emphasize my mouth. So I always played up my eyes and, you know, cheeks, and that was it. And I never put nothing on my lips. And uh, as I got older... Um, and I seen, you know, we go through different time frames in our life. And, you know, so also the fashion goes through a different time. And I noticed women were wearing like this brown lipstick. And I said, hmm, I like that. So I kind of searched around. I found different ones. Um, and I really liked the, the brown. Then I started kind of going more towards reds <laughs> that I never had. But I felt more comfortable, I think, uh, in the way my face looked and my mouth looked. You know, you kind of uh, accept how you look. And so that's what I did. Now, let's take this off my hair. Uh, It's not really styled. I don't want to run this too long. But, uh, and since I'm just going to be at home, I probably won't Let me get my little brush. Sorry, cutting in front of you guys. You know, and I sweat like so bad. So, 
you have to forgive me how I look here. But, you know, you get the idea. I'm at home, so usually when I'm at home, my hair kind of just goes back like this, you know. It's because it's sweaty over here. And... All right, so that was just getting ready with me, and I hope you kind of enjoyed my little tips. Let me know what you think. So, talk to you next time. See you later, alligator.